So welcome to today's quick guide. Um, given that the weather's changing, it's getting colder, I thought it was an appropriate time to look at switching gas and electricity provider. This is a very quick run through. If you have any questions, please leave a comment uh, below. Uh, what I'm going to do here is search for Ofgem, which is the government regulator for gas and electricity. And looking down the list of suggestions from typing in Ofgem, we can find com compare gas and electricity tariffs. And this takes us to a list of comparison sites for gas and electricity providers, which are approved by Ofgem. So scrolling down, I'm going to choose Money Supermarket because I'm familiar with that one. I've done it, I've done switches maybe half a dozen times. And this is the one I'm familiar with. Uh, we're going to scroll down a bit down the page. They offer all sorts of switching offer uh, services in Money Supermarket. We're looking at energy. So we'll tap on the energy button. And it takes us into the gas and electricity page. And we're going to go straight to compare now. If you like, of course, you can go straight to moneysupermarket.com and navigate your way to this page. So we're going to go to find address and I'm going to make up an address. Uh, and I'm going to use a postcode close to Redburn Community Centre. And I just pick an address at random. Uh, so I enter the postcode and tap on find address. It's given me a bunch of Dixon Drive addresses, so let's just pick one, 209. We then have to choose what we're looking to compare, gas and electricity, dual fuel, or just one, if you've only got electricity or gas that you want to compare, that's fine, just pick one of those. Um, do you have the same supplier for both gas and electricity? Let's say yes. Uh, current supplier, let's say Scottish Power, if that's not right, you can choose another one and then move on. How do you usually pay? Monthly direct debit or quarterly direct debit. So in this video, it doesn't show you uh, the drop down. So when I press this button, there's actually choices down here, which you can't see. Um, but every time you see a down arrow, uh, if you tap the down arrow, it will give you other options. You can then move on to, are you in an economy seven tariff? If you are, tap yes. Do you know your current tariff? You may have one of these previous offers that they've done. Uh, and if you don't know your current tariff, tap I don't know about your energy usage. Do you know how much energy you use? If you do, fine. Um, you may have a bill present, you may have a bill to be referred to, or you may be able to access your, your bills online. Uh, if we say, I don't know how much I use, if that's the case, you can say, if you live in a house, that's fine. If you live in a flat, choose flat. If it's a mid floor flat or a top floor flat, um, I've no idea what this property is. Um, let's say it was built between 45 and 75. And it's got two bedrooms. Again, I'm making this up, I've no idea. Let's say there's two adults living in it. Uh, when is energy typically used? Daytime and evening, evening and weekend. It'll depend if you're working or if you're at home most of the time. So let's say daytime and evening. And how would you like to pay for your energy? Again, you choose whether uh, monthly or quarterly, and whether it's cash or, cash or check or direct debit. Cheapest um, options usually are direct debit. So to get my email address, I'm not going to send it to that one. I'm going to go um, to robotwork, work Gmail address. Um, and you can choose to have update sent or not, I'm going to have, I'm going to say yes to that. And then I can see results. As simple as that. At this point, having sent the email, if you're short of time, you can return to this page via the link that will come with your email. But for now, we'll continue here. So these are the results. Um, you can filter the results over here if you explore that. Um, I'm not going to do that just now. So our personal projection is £687 a year. Um, estimated cost with the top L offer, which has been calculated out by the Money Supermarket website. Fixed for 12 months, early exit fee is £60, but the yearly saving is £147 based on what they think you're spending now, £687. And the estimated cost is £45 a month. Um, one of the things you need to be aware of is that there are ratings for the different suppliers. So uh, British Gas here, I've got 4 out of 5 rating. 
and Eon have got a 3 out of 5 rating. You could call to apply if you don't want to do it on the, on the internet, you can call uh, the phone number, this will give you the phone number. Uh, 0800 177 etc. This also gives you more information on the deal. Provider name, the name of the tariff, uh, the fact that it's fixed for 12 months, um, it's 100% renewable electricity, uh, they are going to insist on a smart meter installation, uh, and there's exit fees, £30 per fuel. However, let's proceed. At this point, you can also sign up for alerts once you've uh, completed this, this deal. You then have to complete your personal details, first name, surname, supply address, employment status, residential status. So they'll do the credit, usual credit check um, based on the information you give them. And once you've completed all that with phone numbers, date of birth, etc. You have to give consent for Eon to provide a credit check. Tell them how you prefer to be contacted. They'll also send you an email and they want to know whether they can email you about important changes to your account. Also, they send you marketing information. You can check all or none of these, or a few of them, or one of them. And then you have to uh, complete your your bank details for them to take their to take the uh, direct debit from if that's the way you're paying for it. Different information will appear if it's check or cash. And there's choices on um, billing addresses at the same as a, the, the usage address. Do you prefer paperless billing? Sometimes they'll give you a reduction if you if you do your entire account online. Um, your application will be sent to Eon, who will get in touch within 10 days to confirm details. Eon will also start the switching process and will contact you if any further details are required. But usually it's a very smooth process. You have the right to cancel. In all of these cases, you have the right to cancel within 14 days from the day you have submitted your application to Eon. And then just click proceed to switch, which won't work in this point in this stage because I've not filled anything in. But that's it. It's, it's as straightforward as filling in a paper form. And you could be saving yourself quite a bit. If you've never switched before, the biggest savings you'll find is when you switch the first time. So, good luck, happy hunting, and uh, here's to a warm winter. As ever, leave a comment below if you want more information. Just get in touch.